Okay guys, so it is our very last morning here in KOTOR and that means one thing, we still need to show you our apartment. So we figured since we're staying in the old town, we would walk out to the gates, which are quite impressive. This is the south gate over here and we're gonna give you a little tour. We'll walk through the old town and take you to a little pad for the week. So let's go. We have now made it to this grand staircase which leads us all the way to the apartment. This is also where a lot of stray cats hung out yeah. and we've befriended quite a few of them. And that's Can where the meow. And that's where we fed them as well. I think yeah. we bought we ended up buying four boxes of cat no, food. Five boxes of five. five boxes of oh cat food in one week. They were only one euro each, so I feel I feel good about yeah. that. So Money let's go well say spent. hi to the cats and then the apartment. Sausage Cat is our best friend, he likes pets, and we call him Sausage Cat because he has the shortest little legs. He's Long a, body, tiny legs, like a hot dog. He's a low rider, and he's, we've probably fed him more than anyone else. He's a sweet, sweet kitty. Oh, oh and a little frisky too. And a little frisky, he wants to play. He's been fed, so now he wants to play. Well, shall we go inside? Yes, time for the apartment tour. So in we go. In we go. Only one door opens of the two. Yeah. So come on in to our crib in the old town. All right. Let's make sure the cats don't come in <laughs> because they are getting, they're getting a little bold. bold. They're getting a little bolder. Yeah. Okay. The day. So this is the entrance, and I guess the first thing we can show you is the bedroom since you're standing right there. Yes. So lead us in. So. Yeah. This is the bedroom, double bed. It's a really good mattress. I slept really well at night. Um, we have a big window here. Yeah, we did have a big window. Uh, so yeah. And we had, we also had, uh, we had a drawer over here. Yeah, except we never really unpacked our clothes anymore. <laughs> no, we didn't. We just live out of a suitcase. So it was like piles of clothes over yeah. there. Yeah, that's very true. Also, we had, I should just point out quickly, we had a laundry rack. Yes. Which we did use. <laughs> we did use that. We did, we did use laundry. It. We did laundry. Once. <laughs> Once. Okay. So if you follow me, I guess the next place we can do is the bathroom. Yeah. You fell over there. Um, and the bathroom it's is wet. very small. Yeah. It is wet, so I'm going to send you in. Oh, lucky me. Good I, luck. I get to get my socks wet, potentially. <laughs> All right. I will go in and give a tour, and then I will, I'll be out in a second. So, yeah, this is just basically your standard bathroom. There's a small little toilet. Here is the water heater. And this is the section where it would get really wet. Like we actually had a towel that got soaked. And the shower here. Uh, I would say the shower is pretty good. It had decent water pressure, but it did run out of hot water if both of us showered kind of back to back. So that was slightly annoying. But you know what? I think that's because I have really long showers. And I, I know. Go first and, yeah. and then it's like, sucks for you. It does. It really <laughs> does suck for me. Okay, well this is the room that I really like, the living area and my favorite thing, come close, so don't run away, would be this like stone wall. Yeah. I think this is just so cool. It looks really rustic with like the wooden roof ceiling. Yes, there's the wooden roof. <laughs> <laughs> ceiling, I think I mean ceiling. <laughs> yeah, we're ceiling it. We both got that wrong. And yeah, just a nice big couch. We did a lot of work here, watch Netflix. And you can actually turn this into another bed if it's That's more true. than two people staying here. That is very, um, very true. So yeah, I mean, we also had a TV, but we just never watched TV. Nope. Um, so yeah, that's the living area. You need to turn on the and light for the kitchen. Next, yeah. We'll the chicken. The kitchen. 
Oh, and we, we also worked here, yeah. but the only thing that was a, a little bit annoying about this was just how high the table was. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's for example, show cool. us. Yeah. Not great for the shoulders. I mean, I guess it's really good if you don't want to spill your food, right? But for yeah. working, you're kind of like this. Yeah. Um, but I mean, yeah, it was spacious enough for the two of us. I did quite a bit of cooking here. You did. We Compared to other places, we, we ate a lot. Yeah. We ate a lot in. Yeah. At home. <laughs> and, we ate uh, a lot, I should say. What, what do you call these? Like, I think it's an basically, it's basically a, I think it's a range. A range? Yeah, it's kind of an electric stove. So that's where we cook our pasta. Yeah. It was pretty good. Was um, it was a machine. small kitchen, but it had everything we needed. Mm -hmm. um, so it was good. Yeah. And the location of this apartment. Right oh in gosh. the old town. I mean, we're like just a few blocks from the South Gate. Yeah. So that was really cool. Um, so yeah, that's the apartment. It was small, it was cozy, but it was perfect for two people. So next, let's go to the couch and you can tell us the price. Exactly. All right, let's talk about the moolah. How much yes. was this place? So this place for one week with a discount was 27 US dollars a night. Yeah. And I thought that was a steal. I'm like right now it is November 20th. So we stayed from the 13th until the 20th. Uh -huh. And I'm guessing in the summer, this place might run for double or even triple. Yeah, I mean, yeah. the location is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Like, right in the old town. Right in the old town. Just like this has so much charm yeah just yeah just incredible value traveling in the off season this time mm -hmm. um in terms of our opinion of couture we really liked it mm -hmm. we thought it was a really cool destination we enjoyed being here wonderful to walk through the old town also. and to hike to the fortress that was yes. amazing yes hanging out around the harbor is yeah. cool yeah the hike the hike up to the fortress i think was the highlight for both of us yeah um, in terms of uh, like what, what we didn't love as much, uh, it was not the best food city. In fact, I would say for our entire trip in the Balkans, this is probably our least favorite city for food. We tried eating out a few times and we had kind of okay to average. Some, some meals were good, yeah. but like just we didn't, it didn't really click with us. We didn't find like uh, amazing restaurants that we wanted to return to again. Mm -hmm. So that was a bit of, of the downside. Also, the, the, I should let you know that the city changes completely when a cruise ship pulls in. Yeah, and that happens yeah. a few times a week. It becomes bananas. And then, <laughs> but then the rest of the time, it was so quiet. I mean, it is in the off season, but uh, yeah. yeah, it was incredible how it, how it changed just from, from the cruise ship pulling in for a few hours in the mm -hmm. afternoon. But anyways, yeah, we really liked it here. We'd highly recommend you come. And yeah, do if you can, if you can get a good place in the old town, definitely do that. It just makes your stay so much more convenient. And what's next? Where are we going today? What's next? <laughs> We've got a long journey of 30 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're heading to our last stop in Montenegro. We're going to Budva and we've got six days booked there. So stay tuned. We will have travel and food content from there. Ta-ta.